The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Welcome, everybody, to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, national favorites, and even some bizarre international or holiday treats. Ah, there we go. Alone or in head-to-head battles, I am Jess, and here with me is my panel of awesome experts. We have Dave. Hey. Mikey. Hello. And Ed. Hi. And a lot of fun for you. <laughs> Ed, what are we actually having? Like, what is... Wow, what aren't we having? You know, in honor question. of the holiday and excess, we're covering five snacks today. We've got uh, peppermint Twinkies, Hostess Holiday Cupcakes, Hostess Snowballs, Little Debbie Christmas Tree Snacks, and an Oreos Limited Edition Peppermint Bark. Wee hoo. So a lot of peppermint today. You know what? I'm fine with that. It's peppermint. like brushing your teeth with sugar. So peppermint says Christmas. Yeah. Or, mm-hmm. or, or holiday, God forbid. Holiday. <laughs> no, it mm. says, I think it says Christmas. With yes. with peppermint, you're just, it's going to taste cane. like the holidays. Mm-hmm. Candy canes, peppermint. Right? Red and green. I guess that's what they're going with. Snowball makes sense. Snowball all year for round. Every occasion. All, all year round. It's like a summer snowball, winter snowball. All right. right. Yeah, they don't yeah. hurt when you throw them at each other. Let's have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I love me a snowball. I gotta say, absolutely well, love them too. I've not had a snowball in a long time. And you know, snowballs are cream-filled chocolate cakes covered mm-hmm. with marshmallow frosting and coconut flakes. What could gorgeous. go wrong with that? Absolutely like a good nothing. combination. They're relatively an older snack. They were introduced in 1947. No, to be honest, I was half tempted to throw the snowball at Ed. Ah, you can throw a snowball. Have a snowball fight? That's cute. So ah, snowball fight. So these, <laughs> uh, these came out right after World War II, and people had been going through, you know, all the rationing of flour and sugar. Yeah. And now you've got snowballs, plenty of flour and plenty of sugar. Dang it. My mom said the only proper way to eat one is to peel the top off. Now, peel and eat like a shrimp. Originally, the cakes were colored white and lacked the cream filling. Uh, no cream? No cream originally. It must have been pretty dry then. A little yeah. later, the pink coloring was added to the shredded coconut. Does it change color? Taste? No. No? Okay. It's just coloring. And actually, the original packaging after the white was one pink and one white. I remember really? the pink. Yeah. yeah another pink one. And it's Halloween, they do orange. Mm-hmm. They do indeed, and they've also got a green for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and that's cute. A lavender for the spring. Oh, I love that. So right now the default color is the pink. That's what <laughs> they issue all the time. They do the white for the winter. Oh, these are cute. And they've actually got a neon green that comes out at Halloween time yeah? as well. Like Slima? Wow. Oh, yeah. I dig that. I wonder if one neon. outsells another because of color, and the answer would be pink if that's what they use year-round, right? Yeah. yeah probably. I would say so. But, I mean, I, I love... I'll buy anything that's purple. I really will. It's kind of sad. And, you know, the surprising thing for me is uh, this is the first time Twinkies are making an appearance, and that's just an iconic snack, the Twinkie. And they were invented in Illinois in 1930 by James Alexander, and I don't know if this is DeWar or Dewar. We've been correct yeah, I know. before. <laughs> but what he did is he used the machines. He used to manufacture cream-filled strawberry shortcake. And in those days, hmm. the snacks were seasonal, right? Because right. when it wasn't strawberry season, his machines were sitting idle. So, so he decided to come up. With the Twinkie. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I've been digging in. Oh, yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. All, right, all, all we're going to do is uh, everybody gets to say their favorite. All right. The Halloween episode. You know, because it's hard. You can't compare reasonably the apples Anyways. and oranges. Right. 
But did you know the Twinkie originally had banana cream filling? Seriously? Mm. Yeah, and again, I mean, World War II really impacted the snack industry because bananas were rationed during World War II, and that's when he had to change to the cream filling. I did not know that. Yeah, and uh, Twinkie still occasionally does a banana cream filled. I've seen Mm. them. I thought they were like this new amazing thing. Uh, They were the old amazing (laughs) thing. (laughs) Wow, there's so many snacks. It's very exciting. I just want to talk about how cute it is. It's like, I I appreciate what you did here, guys. I mean, the sprinkles on it is fun. You know, one thing that occurs to me, though, is that the only ones that made a true effort were Little Debbie's. They Mm -hmm. actually changed the shape for the holiday. The others are just changing flavoring or throwing some sprinkles, Mm -hmm. but... It looks like it's making Jess happy. And what this is it? Is so what tasty. is it usually a shape of? It's just a. I round. think it's a square. I I don't remember. A little it. hexagonish. Yeah, yeah they have they have you know basically the exact little same chocolate thing. Chocolate cakes, yeah. And I think in the little Debbies, they've got a chocolate and a golden, on the trees. Hmm. Yeah. Um. So there is one more episode we're coming on before Christmas, but mm-hmm. I thought I'd begin Christmas right away and I got you guys a little wow. gift. Ooh. Now before you open the gift, I want you to think about the, that's yours, Jess. Oh, just kidding. It's Ed's. Ed's. Mikey. Indeed. Mikey's. Oh, what, sprinkles. This has something to do with the show that we mm-hmm. t- that, that we talked about this item actually on the show. And there it is. So anybody have a guess what this would be? Hmm. Talked about It has been items. discussed on the show and you can play along at home. What is this? We talked about this at the show, during the show at one time. Candy canes. Wrong. Sugar. There's got to be some type of gimmick we were talking about that we saw online or something. Is it a puppy? I'm just kidding. It's not a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I had to squish it flat to get in there. All right. Open it up. See what you think. I got to. Got to. Got to. I will say, the most appropriate wrapping paper I have ever seen in my life. These are sprinkles, guys. This is like a Christmas sprinkles gift. Oh very festive, God. very festive, and I, I can I can begin to talk and while they do this because I've made my decision up on my favorite wow. one already. Really, I, I already have them in actually order. So you've tried uh, every one, every one, and I got them in uh, five in order. <laughs> <laughs> I this knew is something we were talking about before. We have the dipper. This is a sandwich cookie dipper. I don't know how he found this, but this is beautiful. So I know you don't do the milk. I and don't. you don't do the dunk. But if you do, why mess your fingernails up, especially during the Christmas season so when you can have the dipper? And we, with the Oreos just came out, so I was thinking. Oh, that's okay. wonderful. It Prevents cookie loss. It almost looks like a dental implement yes, it does. to clean mm. your teeth. Which so. I'm sure the dentists are very happy about this anyway. <laughs> it gives them more work. Well, this is good, too. Even if you're not a dipper, because I'm not a dipper usually, which I will try, though, because this is neat. But if you're sitting next to your loved one on the couch, and your couch happens to be a little bit too long, and you're holding those Oreos, and you don't want to share them, just put one on here and lean over and hand them one at a time. Ah, pass it over. Because that's oh love. God. One thing that impresses me the most, it says, made in the USA. Thank really? you oh, very much. You're welcome. Anymore. The dipper. That is awesome. This is a great present for us snackers. Perfect. I knew it was something we had to have talked about. Didn't you say there was like a dipping kit that you could buy? This is glorious. Cheers to whoever made this, by the way. I don't have milk, but I gotta see how it works. I'm halfway through my treats, and I'm feeling pretty good. I I can guess what Dave's number one is. Mm -hmm. Now, on the Hostess Cupcake, I think the interesting thing, too, is they changed up the squiggle color. Oh, yeah. So we've got a nice. Do they have the green. same amount of squiggles? Uh, I think it's eight. Yes, yeah, right. That's pretty freaking nifty. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow! If you had milk, you could try it right on the show. It's good. It's like a shovel. Just di- dip it in water and see how that goes. Um. <laughs> Works perfect with an Oreo. I don't know how it's going to work with other a Twinkie. Co- yeah, <laughs> might have to work. That is cool. Mm-hmm. So we don't have. They have mint in everything here. Mm-mm. There's mint in the Twinkie. There's mint in the Oreo. I was actually a little confused because I thought the tree cake had right. peppermint in it. Captain Snacky. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, the, 
the tree, I don't think they changed up the flavoring at all. They changed the shape and they put some uh, colorful sprinkles. Yeah, yeah the cupcake the, uh, has no real peppermint or anything going on. It's just a vanilla mm -hmm. cupcake. Yep. So it's just the Twinkie and the Oreo as mint. And a little overpowering mint in it's respects aggressive. that when you eat it, then you go to one that's not mint, you think there might be mint in there. Lingering. That's what I thought about this um, little tree cake. But I mean, yeah. everything is good and nothing tastes. No. Nothing's gross. Mm -mm. So. Some of it's aggressive, but I like aggressive. So I bit the Twinkie first. Mm -hmm. and then when I bit the snowball, <laughs> I, I got red all around the edges. Ah. Of this. It looks like it's bleeding. It's like a girl uh, with lipstick uh, <laughs> right. using my glass. <laughs> Been there. The, the Twinkie, um, the red dye in the Twinkie. Covers your tongue mm -hmm. <laughs> and stays with you. Well, that's the fun thing about Slurpees. This usually tint your tongue too. Oh, yeah. I'm like peppermint drunk right now. This is good. The I don't know if I'm crazy about eating peppermint. Uh, time and place. Maybe maybe 10 a.m. isn't the time to be eating your toothpaste. The well. interesting thing about the Twinkie, you know, I would have thought they would flavor the cream with peppermint, but they right. went the opposite way. It's the cake that got flavored with the peppermint, and it's standard cream, I believe. Hmm. Jess is get to, getting to work. She's really oh, yeah. confused here. Well, what I'm going to do then is... You know, I've played commercials for almost everything here except for the Twinkie, because this is the first appearance. So we'll hear a, a nice Twinkies ad from 1985. Hmm. This is Twinkie the Kid. Ever wonder how they get that creamy filling into the middle of a Twinkie's cake? Well, these kids have some pretty good ideas. First, they put down the creamy filling, then they bake the cake all around. See, they got this big tube full of the stuff and they just squish it in. It's just born there. Hostess Twinkies cakes, fruit pies, and cupcakes. Yeah! <laughs> the fresh snacks with a snack in the middle. <laughs> so That's awesome. None of them quite got it right in how they get the cream. The second kid was the closest. You're right. He as was far the closest. The tube. But if you you know flip over a Twinkie, you'll three, you see three injection points. Mm -hmm. So the machine will come down and just pierce it three times and inject mm -hmm. the filling in there. And, you know, as I've been studying the Twinkie, I've been thinking, i got to make ho it? homemade Twinkies. Yes. What do you do with a piper? Well, we'll yeah, just make a sponge cake? they actually have a pan that is, you know, Twinkie shapes. Okay. So you can make a sponge cake batter, put it in there, and they're basically baking upside down. Yeah. And then when you take them out and cool them, you could use a piping bag yep. and inject your <laughs> own variation. Yeah, because sponge cake has give because of the air pockets. Oh, yeah. So. so I'm looking at calorie count here on the snowball uh, per serving, which is one we have, uh, it looks like 170. Looking at the cupcake, we have 160. 160. So it's a little less on the cupcake from the snowball. How about the others? The Twinkie has uh, 130. <clears throat> and the Little Debbie Christmas tree has 200, while the Ooh. Oreo has 140. One Oreo. Well, how many no, per serving? A serving? Okay, this kind of shocked me. A serving of Oreos is two cookies. It's two. And you gave us three. I gave, well, I'm Italian. We give extra. <laughs> so two is how many? 100 and what? It's 140 calories for two cookies. All right, so, so I, would, calories I, I right? would say your best bang for your buck on calorie count is probably good. The Twinkies, the right? The Twinkie, but it's much smaller. Mm -hmm. You're going to do very good on the cupcake, the Hostess cupcake. Mm. The cupcake, cupcake is like the second highest. No, third highest. Yeah, Hostess cupcake is only 160, and the cupcake is filling. It's dense. Yeah, it's there's, nice. a lot, there's a lot but more of it. The snowball has good fill factor, you mm. know. The it's snowball's the largest in size mm -hmm. with the marshmallow and the cake and the cream. Right. Yeah, it's got you coconut. Got a, it's got to be healthy. And coconut, fruit. right. You got four things going on here. It's fluffy and adorable. The problem is you're probably picking a coconut out from between your teeth for about a week. And typically, a snowball you, in the convenience store, you get two in a pack. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're slightly smaller than this, though. I don't remember no, them being this big. Thing. Two in, really? Can I get a question I'm for you, sure. Dave? Yeah. Back when you were a kid, do yeah. you, is it just me or, or are Suzy Q's getting smaller? Everything seems to be getting smaller. Mm. So they are have, we just getting bigger? They have, well, that's a possibility too, but they have either they raise their price of their product, they put 
crappier ingredients mm. and the cheaper mm. ingredients mm. or they make it smaller. I've seen over, I'm 58 years old, over, over my years, when we used to buy coffee, for instance, mm. it was a pound of coffee. Mm. And then later on, which is 16 ounces, later on it became 14 ounces mm. and 12.5 and 10.5. Mm. And they, it's still in the can or it's still exactly the way yeah, shaped it used to be so that that was what they decided there as prices went up so i think the same thing when in the snacking world i think these things got smaller but then again i got bigger yeah but uh i just recall bigger yeah, yeah. Susie used to be size. big they know the answer to this they're just not telling anybody <laughs> well i think sometimes what matters to them is hitting the right price point, right? Right. Yeah. And as ingredients go up in price, you either have to change it. You've got to stay profitable. Reduce to go out the of size. You know, there's only so many options mm-hmm. for you. Yeah, you don't want to get the little snack at the store over the dollar mm-hmm. mark because maybe you'd say, ah, forget about it. Yeah. Too much money. Yeah. I mean, if it was a, a little, I, I'll pay a little bit more for like a treat that I really want. I don't really care. If it's convenient, it's close. If I really was like needing a Twinkie, I'd pay a couple of bucks for it. I, I would say the majority, well, you're talking about me, but I buy these things not because I'm hungry. It's because they're there. Yeah. And to convenience. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, oh Snowball. Let me grab one of these. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the way out, I just filled up the gas tank or something. There it is. And so it's you've not. You've never a, been like. You've never said to yourself, oh, I could really go for a snowball right now. No, it just no. happens. And if you can put them as close to the register as possible, you're going to make more sales yeah, because I'd it's going to happen. Mikey, well, you're doing one thing at a time. <laughs> so it's going to be a while for you to make a decision because that we're all done. That's the last thing. Oh, well, okay. I have a feeling yeah. I, already know, I already know which one I like. Why don't we talk some news while Mikey's okay. chomping on a Twinkie? Ready to he rock probably and roll. didn't want the cross-contamination. <laughs> <laughs> so... This week in the news, and this is a regional ice cream maker called Perry's. The reason it made the news is they've got a seasonal ice cream called Elf Trash Ice Cream. What? Elf Trash. Elf Trash. <laughs> it's, it's a festive pint that mixes white chocolate ice cream with four different mix-ins. Red and green fudge candies, fudge-covered pretzels, and fudge-covered peanuts, and praline peanuts. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. It's just a bunch of elf trash. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I would eat that. Mm-hmm. I, saw, shot. I see something elf poop or... <laughs> oh, yeah. Poop. I think you're... It, it was a reindeer, reindeer poop? Reindeer poop, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where was this? I don't know, something online or something. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Jelly Billy actually does a dispenser. It's a reindeer. You turn its tail on. Oh, pops brown chocolate. <laughs> Jelly Bean. Oh, Gosh. come on. <laughs> it's a little too much. And now we'll revisit for our friend Rudy in Canada. Is Hi, Rudy. cereal hmm? a snack? I would say. It can be because yeah. look at Chex Mix, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think you and I had a discussion and we decided everything's a snack if you're not eating it at mealtime. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. everything has the potential to be a snack. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And the reason uh, this one's in the news is... Captain Crunch came out with a Christmassy makeover. So they've got a Christmas version of Captain Crunch, and it's the original flavor. They mixed in festive shapes like stars oh. and Santa hats in red and green colors. Oh, they should cute. make ninja um, knives or something because Captain Crunch will <laughs> rip apart your roof of your mouth. <laughs> yep. That is the sharpest. It's half the fun. You have to like fight to get through your breakfast. Yeah. I still remember when I was a kid, Captain Crunch helped me knock out one of my teeth. Seriously? Oh. You, yeah, you could you could stop bleeding. You, you, you know? you're having your milk and you mean that cereal it? doesn't taste like blood anyway? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. Just kidding. Boy. Well, the berries were red, right? The Captain Crunch yeah, the yeah. berries. Did. Yeah, Crunch berries. Okay. That was one cereal you had to like it soggy in the bowl because yeah, it would hurt you. you to hell. Yeah, it was a tough one. And finally, you remember we talked about Skittles coming out next year with a mm. Halloween edition with zombies or yeah. some such. Seems like they couldn't wait because in January they're introducing Skittles Dark Side. And a limited edition. It's uh, instead of the usual grape, lemon, lime, strawberry, orange lineup, this bag comes with dark berry, black cherry, 
Blood Orange, Midnight Lime. Oh, they're going to own Halloween. That's and the, the goal here. spooky forbidden flavor. <gasps> well, now I have so to have it. They just took the flavors that were in the other ones, redyed the shell, and changed the name. We'll say. Well, when you, when you say well, it's forbidden, they've already got like five different want. flavors. It's insane the amount of Skittles they it. have. We're going to have to do a special like a early. Sk- a Skittles edition. Yeah. I don't, I'm not usually a huge fan of Skittles, but it said forbidden, and now I must. I must <laughs> try it. The marketing I mean, Skittles is has working. like four or five different types of they bags now. They did a now. good job with it. I know this because I keep spinning my point thingy for 7-Eleven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty good with my snacks. I think I actually have I a lineup. All right. Go ahead. I you, am ready. I go first. <laughs> my number one, for whatever reason, it's not any special holiday flavor, but these little Hostess holiday cupcakes, they're a yellow cake. They, I could be addicted to these. Like, really? I seriously have a problem right now. It tastes delicious. I don't know if it tastes like nostalgia from childhood or what, but they are phenomenal. Snowballs come in next. It was a close kind of tie because they're delicious and they're cute and they're squishy. I'm surprised you usually like coconut more. I love coconut, but these are voodoo magic. Those little cupcakes are voodoo magic. That one is followed by the Christmas tree. I like, this is just a chocolate cake wrapped in chocolate fudge. It's good. It's not going to offend anybody. I would eat that again. The Oreos and the Twinkies are kind of tied for my last place because they're very strongly flavored. Like, very strongly flavored. And I think, I think I feel like I just got my mouth washed out. So which one are you going with left first? And, uh. I'm, I think the Oreo is going to come in second last and Twinkie's going to go last. All right, I got to go next. You do. Just to make life easy. <laughs> exactly what Jess says, except I'm going to put the snowball on top of the cupcake. cupcake. Other than that, exactly the same. I was surprised at the cupcake, too. I didn't think I was going right. to like it. Uh, I like even the... Um, frosting on top of the cupcake along with the cream and the inside there was a lot of cream it was really good for anything to come even close to the snowball which got to be one of my all-time favorites oh yeah um, was it's amazing cool. to it so a uh, plus if you look at the lineup the only thing that's gone is, is the, the snowball, snowball and a little piece of everything else so I c- could remember each one but I will finish all of them unlike mm. Jess I gave this heck all right mm. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a little different. Actually, my favorite one was the Christmas tree cake. I liked that the most, followed by the snowball. Then probably the Twinkie, just because I like I like the sponge cake they use on Twinkies. And then the cupcake, and then the Oreo. Because the one thing about the cupcake I didn't actually like was the way that the frosting was kind of flaky. Well, that's... I mean, remember when we did the, uh, the Hostess cupcake? The whole edition with yeah. them? I, I don't mind that. Yeah. It's fun. I remember it being a little bit more fudgy when I was a kid. You could peel it off. So you didn't like the mint the frost either? I didn't like the mint Oreo. Mm-hmm. The, the Oreo's lost for him. His Twinkie actually made it to the mid-range. All right. Yeah, because I like the, the way the cake is on it. All right. All right, Ed. So this was not easy. No, you know, not. and I think like everyone else, when I saw the cupcake, I thought, well, that one's boring. Yeah. It's going to be at the bottom. It didn't end up at the bottom, but it didn't quite beat the snowball for me. I got the snowball at top, at the top, mm-hmm. followed by the Hostess Holiday Cupcake. Exactly where I am. I got Little Debbie's following that. I thought it had a good creaminess mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. Then I, I went uh, Twinkie, just mostly because I like the Twinkie. It was a little sharp in the peppermint <coughs> flavor. And... The Oreos were fine. I'll never throw away Oreos. I'll no. always eat an yeah. Oreo. But that one of all the Oreos mm. I've had is kind of at the bottom of the Oreo spectrum. I agree. We just switched our bottom, too. But I yep. think uh, we're pretty in I line we to it. have a pretty clear winner. I mean, the Snowball stayed right in the top. I think Snowball has this. Whoa. Yay, Snowball! I'm happy about the Snowball. <laughs> snowball they wins. should own the winter anyway. They are the Snowball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Year-round, they are the Snowball. It's not just at Christmas time, just in the winter time. Mm-hmm. Even if you're in Florida and they don't even have snow, they're still the Snowball. They mm-hmm. stand firm they represent. as the Snowball. They represent. So they deserve it. You mm-hmm. stand tall, hostess. Your Snowballs are fantastic. That's right. You yeah. own the winter time. Yes, you do. So this was sort of our preliminary Christmas. Next week, we're going to stick with a Christmas theme. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, I think everyone will be excited mm-hmm. for next week. I mean, people need to tune in to see what we're up to. But I don't even know what, what we're up what to. What I think is we had some of the best, but next week might not be. It might oh, not be as delicious. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 So well, no, next say. week we'll we'll have easy access to the bucket. Oh no! 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 <laughs> we have Christmas treats, part two, <laughs> next week. I don't. I might be Trick sick next week. Trick or treat? <laughs> oh, this is so a Christmas bad. edition. <laughs> All right, you guys, please email in about this. You guys can complain and say, "Don't do this to Jess," because we love her. If you guys ever have an idea for a snack we should dig into, an idea of what to pair against each other, please let us know. Contact us at thesnackauthority at gmail.com. Please let your snacking friends know about us. Share it. Subscribe it. Give it a five-star rating. We like those. This is the Snack Authority for Mike, Ed, Dave, and myself. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Just snack happy, and please tell them not to poison me next week. Thanks, guys. Snowballs! Snowballs! The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.